The Extension School is a new online offering from EPFL specifically for digital applied skills. So, you know, for people to get on board with the digitization that everyone is talking about, they need to get these skills and usually you can't really afford to go back two years to school. And so that's why we're offering this, uh, these types of courses in an online school now at EPFL. Well, I think, I mean, if you look what's happening in the world, everything is becoming digitized, everything is going online, everything, you know, is happening in mobile devices. A lot of data is generated, this data needs to be analyzed for competitive purposes. And so to really be on board with that, you need people that have these skills. And so that's why we're teaching these in an online fashion. Anyone can come, so that's, that's meant in two ways. So on the one hand, it literally means anyone because we don't have any academic prerequisites. But it's also anyone in the sense that the things that we teach are pretty neutral. I mean, they're not very industry specific. They're about the web, about data, about mobile. And these are things that really matter to anyone, not just to specific industries. Innovation cannot be planned, right? That's sort of the definition of it. And often you have a person in a company with a truly innovative idea, but then they sometimes lack the skills, the applied skills to build a quick prototype or build a quick prototype of an app or of a website. Or, and so if they now have these skills, I think we're, we'll actually enable a lot of innovation within the companies. But uh, increasingly the kinds of skills that we need on top of that are really the applied skills. And so you constantly need to adapt. And this is where this, this concept of lifelong learning is now coming from. And it, we can see that this is the future because technology changes faster and faster and people need to be up to speed. So this idea that you go to get your education at the beginning of your career and that's sufficient, I think that's probably over now. Johnson Electric is a Hong Kong-based industrial group, leader in the field of uh, electric motor and actuators. Uh, our largest market is the automotive industry, but we deliver products for um, a very large uh, number of applications. We produce uh, something like 3 million of motors per day. We, we are focused on uh, large volume manufacturing, and therefore is uh, automation and uh, high-speed manufacturing extremely important for us. The flagship product here is Morton, is an actuator which is used in the automotive industry. You can find it in all uh, Audi, Mercedes, uh, BMW. And uh, the core of this um, electric motor is a uh, rotor magnet. And the manufacturing process of this part is quite challenging. So for years we bought it from uh, external suppliers. Uh, we run uh, two uh, projects with uh, the University of Applied Science Western Switzerland, followed by a CTI project to develop uh, the manufacturing technology and the product expertise uh, to be able to produce this component by ourselves. And uh, this project has been very successful. We have now uh, on our site in Morton, Switzerland, a fully automated uh, assembly line, uh, manufacturing line to produce this product. Oh, there's, a, there's a lot of benefits to be uh, engaged with uh, academia and uh, uh, to have a collaborative project with other uh, industry. So basically, uh, for us, it helps us to uh, first get focused on some long-term uh, research project and uh, working with academia allow us to have some uh, a continuity over a long time uh, to develop some uh, core technology. The second thing, our employees involved in those collaboration, uh, they get uh, exposed to um, the latest um, development tools, the latest development methods. And finally, uh, it's also the good opportunity for us to identify young talents uh, to join our specialist uh, team. The Smart Living Lab is one of EPFL's uh, antenna, our satellite campuses. The Smart Living Lab is a research center or a, a platform where uh, 
three different institutions collaborate and work together, um, the EPFL, the University of Fribourg and the University of Applied Sciences in Architecture and, in, and Engineering. Uh, in the academia, we try to find the most interesting questions to ask. And so we really put our energy into finding the right question. What the industry is doing is trying to find answers to these questions. And so by bringing both together, we have hopefully interesting questions that have also um, uh, re responses or answers that will be based in reality and so that they can be actually useful. We decided to uh, bring in uh, a project into the Smart Living Lab that would have an international exposure and would lead us to work together on a concrete, somewhat short-term project. And this was our participation to the Solar Decathlon competition. It's a competition held in the US that started in 2002 about solar housing. My personal objective in uh, initiating this uh, effort and in, in carrying uh, it all along was to have a federating project for the young generation to engage in and to realize that by bringing differences together, you can achieve much more than if you stay in isolation. And I think this is the kind of architecture and of the built environment that we want for the future. Pierre Maniche is the largest privately owned fragrance and flavor house worldwide. We are in the business of creating emotions rooted by science through the senses and smell of, and taste. And we have been doing that for 120 years. We are the number one player in our industry in fine fragrance. Obviously, science is the heart of everything we do. Ever since we received the Nobel Prize in 1939 for our work in Musk, and this has been our benchmark and constant aspiration. Our legacy in world-class science is grounded in strategic innovation partnerships with leading academic institutions around the world, from the Zhejiang University in China to the MIT, Princeton or Stanford in the US, all the way to Geneva University and the EPFL. Centredoc is the information provider for the innovation scene for uh, startups, for small medium enterprises and even for big groups in the pre-competitive or in the innovation invention phase. That's basically what we bring to the party. Basically what we do is we search and find the information, we analyze the key information you need and then we give it to you in such a shape that you can use it to make your strategic decisions. We do it like uh, animals in nature, for example the owl. It has a very good strategy, it observes by night. So we are not visible, but we see everything. We have very strong databases where we can go and bring up the information. And finally, it has crowds to capt the information and to bring it to the surface. Well, let me give you an example. Everybody is uh, keen to know what's going on in wearables. And uh, we know that there is significant know-how in Switzerland, in uh, Swiss Romande. But we also know that there is significant know-how in the Silicon Valley. So one thing we did was we compared the know-how we have in Switzerland with the know-how we have in the Silicon Valley in order to be able to create collaborations, to create partnerships and these partnerships are right now being created on the basis of the information we brought to the surface. If you want to get in touch with us, 
We are in Neuchâtel, in the infrastructure of Microcity and available on request to be directly involved in the innovation topics of uh, other companies. Nestle Health Science is a um, health science company, so we uh, belong to the bigger Nestle group, but we are in a little bit different because we want to uh, achieve uh, if there's any therapeutic value of uh, nutrition. So we are going beyond providing macronutrients like proteins or lipids. We want to investigate really the therapeutic role of nutrition or part or nutrients which are contained in what we call nutrition or food. Uh, and for that we are relying heavily on research and uh, clinical science to show that there is a benefit. Yeah, we have a very active uh, project uh, together with the Ludwig Institute for Cancer Research. The, the overall aim is to see if uh, by nutritional intervention uh, we can boost or help to boost the immune response in patients who have a tumor and are under treatment to have a better what we call immune fitness. We have two research centers, one in Vachely Plan, the other one embedded in the EPFL campus. Um, but we also want to look outside. With each collaboration, we learn. We learn to have the real patient needs uh, because we are exchanging with the doctors or with the researchers. And so we get really the reality. What is, a, what is the need? What does people need in their specific condition? I think the, the most important thing is uh, you bring in, uh, when you go into Biopol or other innovation centers, you bring in a certain mindset. And the mindset is to look around and to look outside and to listen to young people with brilliant ideas. You can bring your own expertise, but then you, you find new solutions if you, if you listen to other ideas, even if they are very crazy in the beginning. Uh, and then you can bring the expertise and say, okay, we can, if we reformulate that and the, the, the young people are open to listen and to refine their ideas. And in this in, uh, iterative process of uh, there's an idea, there's a challenge, there's a discussion, then you can drive the solution and uh, both partners are, are really um, have to be open for that and then you can you can develop new new really new and innovative things